Anemia, I've already talked about that, not a normal part of aging. Okay. So make sure, if you've been told you're anemic, that you've got an answer for it. Okay. Diabetes. Uh, about 90% of type 2 diabetics, if they lost weight, the diabetes would start to go away, basically. So really important, not just getting the blood sugar control or the hemoglobin A1C good, but working in a team to help you get to a good body weight. Okay, so include that. The other thing is to see a nutritionist because the misconceptions about a diabetic diet, tremendous. It's just basically a healthy diet. Neurologic problems. Cerebrovascular disease, strokes, very common as we get older. We've got a fabulous stroke center. So much can be done. Prevention and treatment. Okay? So very, if you've got a family history of strokes, make sure you talk to your primary care provider about the prevention. Okay? Dementia. One of the most common questions I get asked is, what's the difference between normal aging, the memory loss you see with normal aging, and with a brewing memory disorder, okay? None of us were born with perfect memories, okay? So we all will forget. If forgetting is just a nuisance, I walked into the room, I can't remember what I walked in there for, okay? And you're multitasking, okay? That's one thing. It'll happen every now and then. When it's happening daily, interfering, with your day-to-day -day life, actually interfering, okay? It's increasing in frequency. Get in and get seen. Sometimes it's a medication side effect. Sometimes it's low thyroid. Doesn't always mean Alzheimer's, okay? But when it really starts to increase, then take notice to it. Most of the people I don't see in my clinic with those sorts of things, when you dig deeper, you find out that there is so much on your mind. It's more an issue of multitasking, okay? So I do like people to get in and get it checked out. Sometimes it's something so treatable, okay? But when it's really affecting function, have that person get in and get seen and get evaluated. Even if it is Alzheimer's, we've got medications available that can help slow the progression, okay? Quite significantly in many cases. Uh, the other memory disorders, Alzheimer's, vascular from multiple strokes, Lewy body dementia, which a very rudimentary <laughs> definition of that would be a memory disorder with some Parkinson's type features, okay? We could talk on and on about Lewy body. It's a very complex condition, okay? And you can actually see people with Alzheimer's and vascular, various combinations. But very important to come in, get a full workup, find all the possible causes, get those treated, Look at how we need to make the person safe and look into medications. Okay? Falls. Okay, I've got four dogs, I've got three cats. Falls. <laughs> Boy, can I relate to that? Okay. Oftentimes they're multifactorial. We all will have a fall where we just happen to be foolish running on the deck in heels after it had rained. <laughs> fall and break our ankle. <laughs> okay, there are those falls, but then there are the falls just set in, and you go, you know, I used to not fall during certain, I used to be able to walk downstairs and feel real confident. Get in, get seen, look for the underlying causes. Okay. Often medication side effect, that functional decline from repeated illness, effect of arthritis, not exercising, things like that. Insomnia, not a normal part of aging. Older research suggested that fragmented sleep was a normal part of aging. Now the newer research is showing, eh, probably not. Probably that's due to underlying medical conditions. So if you're having trouble sleeping, get in, find out the cause, and that means more than just getting the sleeping pill, okay? Manufacturers of most sleeping pills say stay them on, on them for like a week or two. They're not designed for chronic therapy. Rather, we want to find the underlying cause. Often just avoiding daytime napping, getting exposed to morning sunlight, exercising, finding out maybe you're depressed, you're stressed, and getting that treated. A sleep study for maybe sleep apnea, okay? Very underdiagnosed. How do we know? You know, unless there's somebody else who sleeps in the house who's awake while you're sleeping, you may not know that you snore, okay? Uh, 
but it's a very underdiagnosed condition, and they're coming up with more and more amazing treatments for it. So even somebody diagnosed with sleep apnea three or four years ago that tells me I could never tolerate the mass, I'll say we still need to get to the experts because they've got newer stuff available. Depression, very common as we get older. We experience a lot of loss, okay? Um, therapists can help tremendously. One of the most important things I stress is most depression we don't want to treat just with an antidepressant. Psychologist, psychiatrist, licensed clinical social worker, family therapist, get in with an expert. Urinary incontinence, not an oral part of aging, but very common. We've got some experts in gynecology, family medicine, urology that really hone in on this, and we've got excellent resources here at UK and in the community too. So it's very important. They'll often have a person keep a toileting diary, do Kegel exercises, watch their fluid intake, look at a number of different things. And most of the time, the experts can get somebody back to being continent. Okay. It's a very common. Medications. We've already talked about a lot on medications as we've gone through the other topics. Very important to scrutinize the medications that you're on. Always ask your provider, do I need to be on this? Is there something I can be doing so I can stop that medicine? Okay. Also, pills, medicines have a higher risk for having some systemic effects that could give you side effects. We're coming out with more topical creams and lotions that can take their place and get the same effect with fewer side effects. Um, high blood pressure, one of the common things I'll get asked is I'm on three blood pressure medicines. Can I just go on one? Often three is better than one because you can have three, get their potential benefits, and have three low dose medicines rather than one high dose. So sometimes being on more medicine is more different types can be good. Diuretics, that fluid pill. Um, sometimes when we schedule it, we say twice a day, get, that gets translated into 7 a.m., 7 p.m., and I know why you're not sleeping. Okay? So if you're on a diuretic more than once a day, talk to your provider about when you should be taking it. Okay. Acid reflux is another common condition out there. Um, oftentimes, you can work with your provider and come up with ways to treat that symptom without the pills. Even though the medicines for reflux may have fewer side effects, the um, acid blockers, there still are side effects associated with those. So we can treat your heartburn without it. We want to go that route.